In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Lord tells us exactly what love is. Love is patient and kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It isn't proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. The first time I read this, I didn't quite understand exactly what it meant. I mean, how could love be these things? How can love always protect, always trust, hope, and persevere? How could love never fail? When I was ready though, the Lord showed me that love isn't something that someone has to do. It's simply who you are with Jesus Christ alive inside of you. We simply are love because of Jesus, and Jesus never fails. Heather, when I look at you, I see Jesus, and that makes me see all of those characteristics that the Lord tells us that love is. To have fallen in love with someone who has fallen in love with Jesus Christ is one of the greatest blessings that any man could ever receive from the Lord. To have no fear in love, which I've never experienced until now, has allowed us to connect on such a spiritual level that the way I feel about you can only be explained by knowing that it is a gift, just as you are, straight from the Father above. All good and perfect gifts come from above, and there is no doubt to me that God has placed you in my life, here and now, as a perfect gift for me, straight from above. Do you know how incredible it is to pray for someone that is beautiful inside and out and that loves the Lord and loves me for who I am. And then when God answers that prayer and puts that person in your life, you are everything I had ever prayed for and a million things more that God had made in you because He knew exactly what I needed far more than I did. I can't explain, but I can only smile when I think about how much God loves me to bless me with a woman like you. To me, you're the answer to my prayers for a woman to share my life with, build a family with, and you're also way more than I've ever could have imagined. It's very humbling to have a father that loves us so much, he answers our prayers and gives us abundantly more than we could ever dream. Baby, when I see you follow the Lord, the way you want to serve and help others, the way you pray for others, the way you encourage me to grow in the Lord, I can't help but recognize how much you are following Christ, and it makes me fall in love with you more and more every day. There is such a peace in being head over heels in love with someone who is head over heels in love with Jesus. I understand what it means now to grow closer to someone as we both grow closer to the Lord. I may not have all the answers as to what God's exact plan for us is yet, but I promise you that I'll always follow the Lord and I'll always encourage you to keep doing exactly what you've been doing because I know that we will fall in love more and more and over and over again as we continue to follow and fall more and more in love with Jesus. Heather Futrell, thank you for simply being who you are. I have an important question to ask you. I prayed and prayed about this and I think it's something I need to ask you in person. You know, I, I've been praying not about if you were the right girl. I know that. I was just praying that I wanted to make you feel special and I wanted this to be perfect. Um, and I realized that God put you in my life. So everything we do is going to be perfect as long as we keep Him in the front. Baby. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. Of course we'll. Mm. It's perfect. You're the best. Mm, I love you. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's put this on you. Hmm. My man hands? Yeah. She said yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm.
I had my. <laughs> wow. Like it? Hmm? Mm. Mm.